After three weeks of hard work, sleepless nights and constant deadlines, Exposure Radio is nearly at an end. It is the last day of the online radio station that has turned students into quick-thinking, creative individuals. The station has given all people involved the opportunity to experience life as professionals and for some it has been harder than they could ever have imagined. Here is what members of Exposure team thought of their time working on the radio station. Uh, exposure has been absolutely fantastic for me. It's been a lot of hard work and very, very tiring, but I've loved every single second of it. The best thing about Exposure has been, as cheesy as it sounds, working with everyone. It's been really lovely and uh, I formed some kind of, some not some new friendships, because I've always been close to everyone in the group, but, but I've formed closer friendships with a lot of people, particularly like Steve and Will, who've been the other two senior producers. So that's been really super. Um, a little bit epic, waking up very, very early in the morning, but uh, I've enjoyed working with a team. Quite a lot of experiences that I could take back to Africa. Um, before coming, I really didn't have the experience um, of um, working with a live in a live um, radio studio. Um, the bad part is it's been incredibly tiring. The good part is that it's been um, rewarding. And my overall opinion of it is that it's done what I thought it would do, I think, and given you all something challenging. I think an obvious one would be to pick the run. That was something that was really fun to get involved with because I like running and I do that for a little bit of fun. So it was nice that they put together something that I could uh, get involved with uh, uh, exposure. And it came across, I think, as good radio and people enjoyed uh, following it and reporting on it and videos and whatnot. So that was good. Bad experiences. Uh, late work. I mean, not like handing work late, but like... I'm not a fan of having to work until like 12 at night and then having to get up at half past six. I'm not a fan of having to get up before nine usually anyway, so it was uh, been difficult. But nah, it's been good. I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, definitely one of the good experiences. So with the last day of the station finally here, are the students ready to collapse with exhaustion? Well, maybe, but that doesn't prevent them pulling out all the stops and ensuring this radio station goes out just the way it started, with a bang. Fantastic. Up next, we've got the first part of our Spillers interview. You're listening to Exposure Radio. Today, instead of anything, any CDs or anything on the system, we're playing all vinyls. So we've got our, uh, we've got our vinyl player there. The keen listener to our brunch shows. Obviously, coming up, we've got all... Today's a bit of a strange one. We've mixed up our shows, but there's some great listening on today, isn't there? Absolutely, you can't beat it. Anyway, I've been Peter Hutchings. And I've been Scott McCaffrey. And have a very really good afternoon. I'm here with Will Barker. He's a senior producer of Exposure Radio. Hi, Will. Hello. Um, so tell me, what's your role been as senior producer? So like uh, Steve and Tom, um, I've been look overseeing the days. We've each had five days each. Um, and we've been over overseeing all the production and all the output on those days. So that is to do with scheduling, what features go in the shows, um, and just making sure that everything runs smoothly. Yeah. And that everything sounds as it should. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say has been the most hard like part of exposure? The hardest part. It's all been very very hard, but um, I think. The bit, it's also the hardest, but also the most enjoyable. Yeah. Um, listening to everyone's audio uh, for the next day's output, because it means you've got to stay up a long, long time in the evening after you've done a whole day. But you also get, no one else gets to hear um, a whole day's output, apart from the senior producers and, and Julie and James. So it's really nice to be able to hear everyone's work and all the good work that they've been doing. So do you decide what's suitable to go on to the station? Everything's suitable, but we've just got to make sure that it sounds good enough and that it fits our theme days or fits what we're trying to do. Okay, um, it's the last day of exposure today. It is. How are you making sure that people don't you know, give up before the very end now? Because I think everyone's very tired, aren't they? Yeah, everyone is tired, and I suppose you could say we're all running on empty, but I think because it's the last day, there's one big final push, and the legacy day that we're doing today, it kind of gives it a new, new theme, a new tint, and everyone wants to produce something that is going to be remembered by next year because next year 
the website next to it, that's the first thing they're going to see. So this last day is important right, because yes. they're going to see that first. Yeah. So it's just all about motivation and making sure that everyone's looking forward to five o'clock when we finish. <laughs> Has exposure given you an insight into the job world in this industry now? Yeah, it's something that the course hadn't offered in the course up to this point. Um, we've done it extracurricularly, but, um, but until this point, there's not been any real live, live radio, and it's just been absolutely amazing. The whole process has been fantastic. Would you do it again? I'd do it again, not next week, but maybe. In a couple <laughs> you need of weeks. a rest yeah. first. Okay, thank you very much, Will. That's all right. These students have learnt skills that can only come from working to a professional standard. For most students here, exposure means more to them than simply an element of their coursework. As the third years prepare to graduate in July, they can take this rewarding experience with them. Not only will they leave the atrium with a degree, but with the knowledge of what it takes to be successful in the industry. And for most people, this is priceless.